Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And as a part of today's video, we are trying to understand why does Envisa ask for oxidative degradation of drug product with metal ions. You must have conducted force degradation during method validation and as a part of uh, force degradation you must have also conducted oxidative degradation by using hydrogen peroxide. But the NVSA has published a guidance document into 2015 and that document have additionally asked for oxidative degradation into a metal ions and we are trying to understand why Envisa must have asked for the oxidative degradation with the metal ions. So the Pharma Growth Hub is the platform which is trying to explain such a complex topic into a very simple way and I am sure you must have gone through uh, many such videos, many such posts in the past. So if you want to receive the updated information about the Pharma Growth Hub, the updated activities about the Pharma Growth Hub, you are most welcome to join our WhatsApp community. So there is a link given in the description. So please click on the link and join the, the community of Pharma Growth Hub. So let us begin, you know. What is going to be a part of this presentation? So oxidative stress testing is one of the most conducted stress testings of drug degradation. So as like hydrolysis, thermal or photolytic degradation. Now this is one of the very fundamental requirement of the forced degradation during method validation or maybe stress testing during the stability study. So hydrogen peroxide generally in the range of concentration from 3% to 30% is commonly suggested for oxidative stress testing and we briefly talked about that at very beginning of this video. In addition to hydrogen peroxide and Visa's forced degradation guideline which is RDC 53-2015 I mean, this is the guideline which actually got launched in the year 2015 suggest using metal ions like iron 3 let me take the pointer okay thank you so much suggest using metal ions like iron 3 for oxidative stress testing however the ICH guidelines are even USFDA guideline, EMAS guideline haven't mentioned using metal ions like iron 3 for oxidative stress testing. It is only and only mentioned by NVSA's forced degradation guideline and not by ICH, not by USFDA, even not by EMA. Metal ions catalyzes oxidative reactions up to several thousand times example copper ion now that is very much property of the transition metal ions they have the capacity to enhance the rate of oxidative degradation so if the drug substance which is stable towards oxidative degradation may undergo oxidative degradation in drug product i mean if there is a drug substance in its pure form which may not undergo oxidative degradation but the moment you formulate a drug product by using same drug substance and you may see the oxidation happening of the drug substance. Now why does a drug substance undergo oxidative degradation in a drug product? I mean why a drug substance which generally found to be you know not oxidative in the nature but then it can undergo oxidative degradation in the drug product let us try to understand the reason behind this scenario 
the drug substance may undergo oxidative degradation due to the excipient impurities that is for example organic hydroperoxides and this is the chemical formula ROOH now R stands for the organic moiety of this particular compound and hence this is called as the organic hydroperoxides and this organic hydroperoxides often initiates the oxidation reaction and from where this organic hydroperoxide comes this organic hydroperoxides may come as an impurity present into excipient because you are going to use excipient during drug product manufacturing and if those excipient contain trace level of organic hydroperoxide impurity now this becomes the triggering point for the oxidative degradation of your drug substance the organic hydroperoxides are found in many excipients and just to name few the twin 80 the polyethylene glycol 400 hpmc or pvp now these excipients are found containing a trace level of organic hydroperoxides so in case if you are using these excipients you must look into the details or in that sense you must also ask for your excipients vendor about the the content of you know organic hydroperoxides because this could be very critical for you to mitigate oxidative degradation into your product the organic hydroperoxides can be catalytically degraded by transition metal ions such as iron 3 to form a peroxy radical it is roo and this dot stands the radical and alkoxy that is ro radicals now this is just the initiation step this is the beginning of oxidative degradation let us understand with the help of chemical reaction what is this initiation step means see as a part of this oxidative degradation we are going through three important stages as like any polymerization reaction you must have learned that the first step is initiation the second step is propagation and the last or third step is the termination so this is the very first step where the oxidative degradation is going to start now this ROOH is what is the organic hydroperoxides and in presence of metal ions like iron 3 this organic hydroperoxides will convert into a peroxy radical can you see a peroxy radical over here this dot stands for the radical similarly this organic hydroperoxide will get converted to alkoxy radical that is ro dot this dot stands for the radical now this dot means what is the radical and this radical stands for the free electron it is not the lone pair of the electron because lone pair of the electron contain two electron isn't it and that carries the negative charge that carries the negative charge your molecule will then carry a negative charge but in case of radical formation it is not a two pair of it is not a pair of electron it is not a two number of electron but it is just a single electron and hence it will not carry a negative charge and this is generally represented by a dot generally this is represented by a dot so dot stands for the radical which stands for a single electron and not the pair of electron so as a part of the presence of metal ions in like iron 3 this organic hydroperoxides which are impurities present into excipient can form the peroxy and alkoxy radicals now this is just the initiation step so once you get the peroxy and alkoxy radicals what is going to happen what is the harm this peroxy and alkoxy radicals going to bring this peroxy and alkoxy radicals react with drug molecules carbon hydrogen bond 
now this d stands for the drug molecule okay and there is a if hydrogen atom present this dh is represented by the carbon hydrogen bond and further it produce molecule radical that is d dot now this is the propagation step so essentially this peroxy radicals or alkoxy radicals are going to become a reason for generation of the drug molecule radicals so let me show you how this can be put into a chemical reaction and here is the one so this is the peroxy radical roo dot and this is your drug molecule api the drug substance so this drug substance in the presence of peroxy radical forms the drug molecule radical the d dot now the d dot stands for the drug molecule radical similarly in presence of alkoxy radicals you will find the formation of drug molecule radicals the d dot now this is called as the propagation step so what is the harm once you have the drug molecule radicals now this drug molecule radicals are highly reactive in the nature the drug molecule radicals or in that sense any radical is highly reactive in the nature and this drug uh, molecule radical the d dot is then going to heavily react with dioxygen to form a drug peroxy radicals the doo dot let me explain you with the help of chemical reaction so d dot stands for the drug molecule radicals right the drug substance radical and then there is a oxygen or the dioxygen present as a part of your air during manufacturing your drug product may contain the entrapped air inside it which may contain oxygen and this oxygen is sufficient to trigger this reaction to form drug peroxy radical the doo dot further the drug peroxy radical that is doo dot reacts with the drug itself to form a drug molecule radical and oxidation product which is represented by dooh now this is very critical and important step of final oxidative degradation product how the oxidative degradation product get happen is explained in the next reaction so there is a drug molecule radical which reacts with the dioxygen to form drug peroxy radicals and here is the drug peroxy radicals it again reacts with the drug substance itself the dh is represented by the drug substance your api and forms the oxidative oxidative degradation product represented by dooh and further end up getting created with the drug molecule radical that is d dot so how long does oxidation take place how long this uh, oxidation is going to take place there can be a uh, number of reasons you know the content of oxygen can be the one important point but finally the termination occurs when the drug substance concentration begins to diminish enough that the drug peroxy radicals encounter each other and react to give non radical product let us go back one step so when this drug peroxy radicals are going to give the degradation product that is dooh as long as there is a availability of drug substance isn't it just look at this chemical reaction this drug peroxy radicals can only form oxidative products if there is a drug substance available if there is a drug substance available so as long as there is a drug substance available this reaction is going to happen the propagation is just going to happen the moment there is a scarcity of drug substance and you may be thinking okay there is a drug product there is a drug unit how come there will be a scarcity as quickly now this is not the drug substance availability across the dosage form but maybe just in situ at that particular location 
So if the drug substance availability at that particular location inside the tablet where this oxidation reaction is happening gets depleted, gets diminished, then this drug peroxy radical will not have drug substances to form you know the height the uh, uh, oxidation product then this particular drug peroxy radicals get started interacting with itself with the another drug peroxy radicals and let me show you in the example in the chemical reaction over here so doo dot will again interact with the another doo dot that is drug peroxy radicals and then it will form a non radical product and if there is no radical present onto the product, then there is a termination of the oxidation reaction. So this is the way, uh, you know, <clears throat> the actual oxidative degradation products gets happen in case if there is a metal ion present. In case if there is a presence of organic hydroperoxide impurities. I hope you understand where this oxidative degradation reaction started and where it is ending now so this becomes very much reason the basis for including the oxidative degradation by metal ions so these drug substances may not contain these metal ions right because they are in very pure form but you cannot still in, uh, you know ignore the possibility of uh, the metal ion source as your container closure system so that way it is also prudent to perform the oxidative degradation uh, even for drug substances using metal ions like iron tree and very prominently we must conduct the metal ion degradation into a drug products because there are you know higher chances of uh, the sources of metal ions in case of drug product i hope you must have now understood why Envisa has insisted on conducting the oxidative degradation with the metal ions. Thank you so much.